I was waiting for the snail mail because it includes new collections of solid cream gel polish by Model Ones in collaboration with three celebrities. So let's get to it, let's take a look at the colors, do some swatching. I will give you some tips on how to apply this solid cream gel polish on your client's nail and give you an idea of a simple design that will be suitable for any season. Coming up! Hello guys, this is Anastasia. Let's unpack this nail mail that includes three new kits by Model Ones. They collaborated with three influencers Tom Bacek, Joaquin Vasquez and Saxon Chabrino and created these three collections. Each kit includes a brush that you can use for regular gel or for solid cream gel polish. This collection is called Pretty Unique One, created by popular makeup artists with over 1 million fans. Next collection is called Color Confidence, created by Saxon Chabrina, American actress. She is known for portraying Amelia Robbins in the Fox series Touch. I think this collection would be perfect for fall designs. And finally, we have collection by Tom Bacek. This one is called Rich Girl Retro and includes beautiful classic cream shades as well as the one with shimmer. Each collection includes nine colors of solid cream gel polish as well as the brush that you can use for application. This one, pretty unique one, really caught my attention because it has some bright colors that will be perfect for the summer. And this neon Barbie pink is amazing and you can apply it in just one coat. This color also caught my interest and I think you can use it on its own as well as on top of any background. The biggest advantage of solid cream gel polish is that the layer can be extra thin so it will not add any extra volume to the nails. Let's try them on the real hands now of my model. Look at her nails. This length is so extreme, but these are extensions. And if we look underneath, we will see that her natural nails are pretty long now, and she really wanted to keep them, so we decided to do gel overlay. But first, we need to get rid of the old product, so I'm going to file off the free edge first, but make sure that I'm not touching the natural nail because we are going to keep it and then we need to get rid of the product from the top. I think it was polygel. I'm using ceramic bead and if you're wondering what is this brown thing of the bottom of it, well, this was plastic color band but I forgot to take it off before using a dry heat sterilizer and it melted a little bit, but the drill bit is still perfectly working. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to do a sharp square shape. This shape is very popular when we are doing nail extensions because it's pretty easy to achieve if you are using tips or forms, but with the natural nails it's more rare because normally it's kind of hard to get this sharp angles and edges of the nail, but since we have such a long, beautiful natural nails today, I would like to show you how to create this shape because I have a few clients that really like it. I filed off the remaining product using 180 grit file and then I'm going to do the shaping. To do this sharp square shape, we need to file the free edge lightly file the sidewalls and nothing else. Do not touch the corners, because once you do, you are going to round and soften them up a little bit and we do not want that at this point. I would also love to hear your thoughts about this shape when I will finish the work and you will see the final look at the end, because for a very long time I didn't really like it, because I thought it just looks weird, these nails does not look like natural, but now I think I start to like it. After filing and shaping, we need to do manicure and this is also part of the prep. I'm using a flame-shaped diamond bead with red abrasive mark. The speed is around 16,000 rotations per minute. Today we have a client with a very simple cuticles, as you can see there is not that much to work on and it usually doesn't take me longer than about 10 minutes to do e-file manicure on 10 nails. When you're cleaning the sidewalls and the cuticles, you may notice that there is some dust that is covering the nail and you cannot really see what's going on. So make sure you clean it with a brush so you will see what's going on. 
After that, I'm going to use a soft buffing bit to buff the cuticles and some remaining dead tissue as well as the sidewalls. And also, when you're doing this, you're preventing the client to have hangnails in the future because we are going to buff even the smallest hangnails that could be still there. After that, I want to clean the dust to make sure that we have everything clean, especially under the cuticle, because after that we are going to apply base coat and color. I will be using Model 1's base coat and when I'm working with short nails, I normally just apply a thin coat and that's enough. But this time we have longer nails and they need some extra strength, some extra overlay just to make sure they will not break. That's why I will apply a thin coat first and then I will apply a little bit more and build the structure of the nail. I usually turn the client's finger around just like this to let gravity help me and place the apex on the exact spot that I need. Then it's time to apply the color and we decided to do two different hands. When I used to do two different colors on both hands, I usually did it on myself because I just wanted to try different products. But when my clients saw it, they actually liked it and started asking me on purpose to have different colors on both hands. We really enjoyed this blue color from the collection, pretty unique one. And you know what's also great about solid cream gel polish? Once you apply it on the nail and see that it's a bit transparent and you think to yourself, I should have applied more, you can apply a little bit more right away. Yes, I didn't cure the first coat, I'm just going to take a little more and apply thicker. As we decided to do a sharp square shape today, it's also important to not apply too much product on the free edge, because if you do, it may ruin the shape a little bit and it's going to look different. So in order to keep these corners sharp, we need to apply a really thin coat. So I applied the first one and yes, this was just one coat and then we need to cure it for 60 seconds in LED lamp. And after that, we are going to apply the second one. By the way, I think it looks pretty with one coat already, but if you would like to have a darker and more rich shade, you can apply the second coat. When you apply solid cream gel polish, you don't really need much, so do not pick up too much of the gel. But you still have to have some extra product on your brush, because if your brush is fully clean and dry, you may notice that these lines from the bristles, these strokes are visible. But if your brush is slightly covered with solid cream gel already, then it will be much easier to apply it evenly. On another hand, we decided to use a lilac color and on the index finger I will be using milky color, which is also from model ones from another collection. When I did review for solid cream gel polishes, I got some questions from you guys, can you use them for nail art? And the answer is yes. They are awesome for one color application, but you can definitely do the nail art too. And today I will show you two different options. Since solid cream gel polish by Model Ones has extra thick consistency, it definitely works differently than regular gel polishes. So whenever you apply the color or a stroke, it is going to stay there. Which means solid cream gel polishes are really good for abstract nail art. They are also highly pigmented, so avoid applying thick coats. You really need just a little bit of the product. If you will apply too thick, especially dark colors, such as this blue one, you may have trouble curing them and you may notice that the surface is wrinkly. So always make sure that you apply just a tiny bit, especially when dealing with black or any other dark colors. I used few colors from different collections to create this abstract nail art and here is another option of what you can do. I thought that the consistency of the solid cream gel polish is very similar to the paintings that have this oil style. So I thought we can create this summer-like flower design. All you need to do is just to pick the color that you like and create some petals. You can do five or six of them, it doesn't really matter. At first, this design looks a little messy, but once you add something in the center 
I decided to use a yellow color, now we definitely look like flowers. Then I added some white accents to the center to add a little bit more volume. Cure for 60 seconds in LED and seal it with a glossy top coat. The design is ready, let me know what do you think about the design and about this sharp square shape. We have dreamy, romantic, lilac color with flowers design on one hand and the dark blue posh and abstract nail art on another one. All the links to the products that I used as well as the discount code will be in the description below as usual. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post nail art tutorials and product reviews just like this one every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye!